Next race on the track, the 100 meters. Don Sewell still holding the collegiate and meet records. Aliyah Hobbs, who is in this final, has the best amongst the collegians, second best in the world. And let's flash back to Thursday's semifinals, which provided a lot of drama, Lara. Oh, they certainly did. You're taking a look right there at Aaliyah Hobbs, and she was right next to two of her teammates. They're all sandwiched there together. And Micaiah Briscoe said that she fed off of that. It felt like that they were in a practice. That is how she qualified so well for this day of finals as she positioned herself into lane four with that mark of 11.19. Here's a look at the semifinal heat, too. You can see the Ducks struggling there together, not qualifying well at all. They would have to get through on time sitting back and waiting you can see right there qualifying looking very good for tiana daniels out of texas as she prepares for the final she's in position five you can see right now that is Aliyah hobbs the junior from lsu that season best of 1085 at the sec relays one of the fastest in the world so far this season. And despite the fact that LSU junior Alea Hobbs has had recent success, she and her coach Dennis Shaver continue to work hard to iron out the kinks. When block starts, I make sure that I focus on all little things. Coach Shaver, he tells me, you know, they're gonna hold us in set. You have to just not sit there and listen for the gun. It's just little things like that. Making sure after I finish driving, I get up and sprint because that's that was another problem. Like, I don't really, I didn't really have that good of a front side mechanics. So, Coach Shaver always worked on that. So, we've been working on that still. It was a very strange semifinal day. The number one sprinter on the collegians does not get through as a winner in her semifinal. The Ducks made it through barely on time. There's Deja Stevens, the 2016 Olympian in the 2000. She barely made it through on time. What a tough position for her in lane one. Her teammate all the way out in lane eight, Ariana Washington. But the important thing is they got through and head coach Robert Johnson said that he feels like that they got their nerves out. They were so anxious about the championship, so they hopefully worked that out early. And then Micaiah Briscoe looking so fantastic in that preliminary round. She'll look to carry that on into the final with a big point scoring opportunity for the Tigers. We've seen her be very effective indoors at the 60 meter distance, but that 100 meter she ran in the semifinal on Thursday was really a breakthrough. This race is wide open. Briscoe in four. Hobbs in seven, and then Ducks Deja Stevens and Ariana Washington bookending lanes one and eight. <laughs> Hobbs out very well off the gun, as is Micaiah Briscoe. It is Hobbs now making a move, so is Briscoe. It's gonna be Micaiah Briscoe. Look at this, she runs away with it. Thursday was not an accident. 10.96 for Micaiah Briscoe. We're checking for the win. Deja Stevens comes up for second for the Ducks. So that is a big, big deal for them from a standpoint of points. And Washington, Ariana Washington getting fourth. The win just 0.3 meters per second. So what a great performance by, Mik by Micaiah Briscoe. Look at how she bursts out of the blocks, almost leaving it not to chance there, even halfway in, all the way up into full posture, striding out there, looking so good. Wow, Deja Stevens was closing fast, though. But Micaiah Briscoe just got out so well ahead of the rest of the field. Head coach Dennis Shaver said that Micaiah Briscoe and Aaliyah Hobbs have such a great dynamic in their training. They really feed off of each other very well. So you can certainly see that Micaiah Briscoe was inspired by that earlier season performance of her teammate capitalizing on the national stage. What a big breakthrough for Micaiah Briscoe. She's been mostly known as an indoor sprinter, but 1096 with very little win. That is a wow. Deja Stevens and Ariana Washington combined for 13 points for the Ducks. And this is the seventh LSU sprinter is Briscoe to win this title, but not for the last almost 10 years. And Makai Briscoe is down with Jill. You won your semifinal heat two days ago. What did you tweak going into this final? Um, I knew I had to get a good start because the rest of the field had good finishes. So just finishing the race and getting out to my hardest was my goal in this round. You had said that Dennis Shaver had said a lot of things to you ladies this morning. What did he say to you right before that race? He just told me to execute my race and I could win this uh, title. And I listened <laughs> and I'm glad that God came through for me and let me win this race. So take your victory lap. Thank you. Well, 
Timing is everything, and Makaya Briscoe timed her peak beautifully. An outstanding semifinal two days ago that was clearly not an anomaly. She is an NCAA champion.